first play is one, the play I think 101 a rooftop lesson and it is directed by Okay. 
of all the world's great religions, Buddhism is the least entertaining. <laughs> Let's try that again. So you're broke and you're famous. I don't like those <laughs> Actually, the popularity and effectiveness of modern anti-depressants is one of the great challenges of contemporary dramaturgy. We no more want to really loam to solve our problems with prose than we want Stanley and Stella Kowalski to get air conditioning. So how does a modern playwright resolve today's medicinal Lloyd's ex machinas? Let's find out. I tried Prozac once and it made my mouth really dry. <laughs> that was not great, but we let that slide. Let me help you. It's too late. No, it's not. You don't understand. I haven't told you the worst. Fictional characters rarely are straightforward, are they? <coughs> you see, until a few weeks ago, I was in love. True love. Deep love. I was involved with two of the most wonderful girls in the world. <laughs> one of them was sexy, rich, generous and caring. The other one, she was daring, streetwise and even sexier. <laughs> Between the two of them, I had the world. Well, then they both found out about me and the both of them dumped me. Not just one, but both! Excellent playwriting. Here's a heartbreaking situation with which all of us can relate. Okay, maybe not the specifics, but in the universal experience of rejection. At least you had two exciting events. I haven't gone to play once in the last year. <laughs> a superb response. Another situation with which we've all had friends who've had that. So what do you mean? That life can get worse. Is that supposed to get me off this ledge? Hey, 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 listen, I'm just trying to help when you. When you're doing the lousy job. At least I've got some money in the bank. You've also got rocks in your head. A common beginner's mistake. You see, two characters in hostile disagreement isn't conflict. It's just bickering. When two characters fight, it is of no use. Nobody goes to the theater to hear petty and puerile antagonisms. That's why we have families. <laughs> Let's hope this goes somewhere interesting or else uh, I don't know mind. You've only got money in the bank because you're cheap. No, I'm not. Well, you certainly dress like you are. Listen, you stupid twerk. At least I'm a twerk with a decent sex life. It was decent for them. At least you would have a sex life now. You loser. Know, you you power shithead. You asshole. Yes. She cheapskate. Stop it. Notice that how the app heard. That how the teacher's frustration has now increased. What began as a very minor irritation has now become unbearable since the basic human desire to control was thwarted. What do you think you're doing? I want to think that around you. The teacher's frustration has now changed to anger. Although the real life stakes are extremely minor here, but the character's emotional investment is intense. That's good play. What do you think this is? Some parent never play? Oh yeah, and how do you think we feel? Where we can't say more than two lines without being interrupted with your self-important self -important pronouncements? How do you feel if I did that to you? Okay, you have no dramatic, reviable, <laughs> simple inter... That would put this back in the play? No, and you can't make me. Aha, missed it, you superficial stereotype. You control me?
Senhor.